Hey there, daily boulders. I've not had much time to film for the channel because I've been filming for Bald and Bankrupt. So I thought what I can do while I'm walking 10 kilometers through the snow to the bloody highway is tell you a story at least, a little something you can watch with your cornflakes. Well, actually that might not be a good idea when I tell you what the story is. But anyway, I'm gonna tell you the story of when I was in a COVID hospital in Serbia. Now, when you're in hospital and you're rigged up to a ventilator and shit, you've got that like, mask on and you've got like things sticking in you and needles in you and it's people dying all around you. There's not many moments of, well, happiness. But my one moment of happiness each day was when the people that I called the spice nurses would come around and visit me by my bed every morning at about 10 o'clock there would be a doctor, female doctor, and two nurses. And being in Serbia, of course, they were extremely beautiful and friendly and nice. And so each morning they'd come round, do the rounds, they'd look at my notes at the end of the bed, they'd talk to each other, discuss my case. And the nurses, while the doctor was doing whatever doctors do, would like, you know, have a little bit of banter with me. And I used to try and make them giggle, practice my terrible Serbian with them. They'd giggle. And that was the highlight of my day because there was nothing else nice to look forward to in the old COVID ward. Anyway, fast forward one day, I've been in there about 10 days by this point and I've not done one shit. And I was gagging for a shit. So I say to the doctor who sits or the nurse that's constantly in the room at their desk monitoring us. I say, excuse me, nurse. I say, I could really do like with a number two. Is there any way that I can, I can do this? I said, can I go to the toilet? And she went, no, you can't go to the toilet, Benjamin. You've got all like things in your veins, giving you medicine constantly. I was like, what am I gonna do then? She said, wait there, I'm gonna get you something. I'm like, okay. So anyway, the nurse comes back a minute later. I hear some like crashing around in a cupboard. And she comes back a minute later with a flipping metal pot. She says, there you go, Benjamin. Do your number two in that. Well, I don't know about you guys, but how the hell can you do a number two in a metal pot in a bed when you can't even get out the bed? Besides the, besides the technical difficulty, there's also the emotional difficulty. I mean, I'm a bloody celebrity vlogger. I can't be crapping in a bed in front of everyone. I was like, don't you, don't you have like some other system, you know, for your celebrity guests? Anyway, it turned out that's all I could do. I said, how do I do this then? She said, well, what you do is you line your back, you slide the metal thing under your bum and you shit into it. And I was like, oh, bloody hell. So anyway, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. But I had the metal thing under my bum and I'm trying to squeeze it out and stuff. Hope you're not eating at the moment. I'm trying to squeeze it out. Anyway, eventually, eventually, I managed to squeeze out my kakushkas, as they say in Russian. So I've now got a bowl of kakushkas. I've got it under the blanket. And I say to the lady, the nurse, I say, oh, thanks nurse. I say, can you take it away, please? You know, and empty it out. She's like, yeah, sure. So she stands up and just as she stands up, what happens? The spice nurses walk in. The three of them. And I look on in horror as the nurse is walking across the room to get my kakashkas out. And I'm like, no, inside, dying internally. So the nurses, they kind of arrive at the same time. So the spice nurses there, like, oh, hello, Benjamin. You learned some more Serbian. I'm like, hi, oh, yeah. And then, as they're talking to me, I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm trying to make eye contact with the other one. Like, oh, like, wait a second. But she doesn't, she comes in, she pulls my blanket there, I'm there with my pants down and a, st a steamy pile of shit next to me in a metal bowl. It was so undignified. And like, I just like, ah, oh. I like, I didn't want to die of COVID principally in that hospital, but there was that one moment where if the old, um, if the old ticker had given up, I would have been quite happy. Anyway, they saw the, um, well, hey, you can guess the rest. All right, the story of my, um, Embarrassing Kakashka in the COVID hospital. Just another nine and a half kilometers to go to the main highway. See you later, daily boulders.